Okay, let's look around this uh, 06 plate, so 2006, I presume. Um, Ford Fusion 1.4 ZTEC Climate, I think it's called. Um, we just took we took it in part exchange last month, and uh, I ran it around for a month or so as an everyday car. Absolutely lovely, actually. Very inoffensive, but very economical, and just gets on with the job. Finished in metallic sea grey with um, anthracite interior. Perfectly standard car, and I think it's only a two-owner car. It's certainly a low mileage one. Um, what have we got? Just say standard car. So it's got alloy wheels on it. It's got air conditioning. Um, it's got a heated front screen and what have you. So, just a ZTEC climber. I've just driven it through a bit of mud, so it's got some mud down the side there, regrettably. But uh, Right, we'll go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. No major dents, but obviously it is 10 years old, so there are one or two minor blemishes on it here and there. Around the front end, it all looks pretty good there. We've got a very slight scuff just here on the near side front bumper corner, but very, very minimal. Probably touch that in. Looking down the near side, she looks pretty straight down there. No issues at all there, I can't see. Oh, possibly, a, yeah, slight parking dink just there in the near side rear door, just there. Um, screen all looks good on that side. Roof is fine, passenger door all good. Very slight scuff on the mirror housing just there. Interior wise, she's spot on actually. No, uh, no wear on the seats. No. Um, Dash is nice. Headline has got one or two marks towards the very back end, where obviously something in the boot has touched the roof, but no more than that. Um, yeah, it's got a centre armrest as well, which I hadn't noticed before. Um, it's got the Ford, uh, Ford 6000 CD in it, and uh, say air conditioning. Yeah, all there. Near side rear door, so we've talked about a little parking dink just there. There's a very faint scuff just here. In fact, I think we've got some sea grey paint if you want it, just to sort of touch in a couple of these marks. There's a tiny mark just there on the back of the new side door. Um, looks all good in there. And the side rear wing is all good. Around the tail end. Um, a couple of marks just here on the back of the bumper. Don't really worry about there. And there's a slight crack in the bumper just there on the top surface. Anything I can find with it, the uh, the boot, you should be able to open it um, just by doing that or pressing the button inside and you don't seem to be able to, you can only open it with the key which goes in there, no big deal, but uh, that's, that's where we are. Slight parking dink just there in the back of the tailgate, otherwise looking down the offside, again looks pretty straight, nothing to get too excited about there, the only thing you have got is a slight chunk taken out of the... Um, uh, the rubbing strip on the offside rear door, just there, a little bit missing out of the, out of the rubbing strip. Um, but all looks good in there. Nothing to worry about there. Driver's door all good. Again, very, very faintly scuffed mirror, but very, very faintly. Um, screen looks good on the driver's side. Offside front wing, there's two tiny indentations just there. Looks like perhaps a tool has been dropped on it at some point, but they're very small. Um, nothing really, just, you can just feel a very faint indentation there and there. Um, we slightly marked it. And there's uh, a scuff on the offside front bumper corner which has been touched in. Just there, but that's about it, about your lot. And say so inside, nothing really to uh, drive the seats all nice. So 44,000 miles, and we've got the history on that, we guarantee the mileage is correct. Um, there we have it. It's a, say, a nice little car, make a good first car for someone actually. If my daughter didn't have a polo, I'd give it to her. Um, she's good. Anyway, um, my name is Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges, we take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously at a cost. That's about it. End.